Welcome back. It's Dougie and PA. I have two more women on TikTok who are going to complain about how they regret the majors that they took in college. And like I say on all my previous videos about this subject, women are going to keep going to these high priced institutions to get degrees that no one cares about that aren't going to make them any money in the job market. Why this keeps happening, I have no idea. Men are in on the scam. Men are attending less. Women hold 70% of the student loan debt and they all get degrees just like this. So we're going to see what these two women are, are, are saying. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe, drop a comment. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me, what I'm doing over here. And let's get into this. Let's do makeup and chat together as I'm getting ready for school. So yesterday I technically started what could be my first day of my senior year. And as I'm going into the semester, I'm literally only taking classes that pertain to my major. And my major is political science, by the way. So if you've been following my channel long enough, you know the seven degrees I say women get that aren't worth the paper they're printed on. Same with me. Psychology, sociology, social work, criminal justice, some kind of studies degree. So gender studies, African-American studies, Asian studies, communications, education. Now, you'd think that I would put political science on that list, but I'm not going to. You want to know why? Because political science is the number one bachelor's degree that people get, this is men and women, to get into law school. That's right. I think it's almost 20%, so one in four, have political science degrees. Now, that's all you, you can use it for. So, so if you're in a political science program right now, you might want to head to law school because that's the only thing that you can do with it. I just took off the beauty filter. I didn't realize it was on. Um, my my. Wait, so she's putting makeup on with a beauty filter on? Are you serious? It's so bad since like getting off birth control. Honestly, it was bad before that. Okay, I'm not a foundation girly. Like I literally will only put foundation in my T zone. But this house Hobbs foundation, oh my gosh. Oh yeah, back to me hating my major. Um, I decided to be a political science major literally my first semester of freshman year. And you're probably asking, okay, like, why did you pick political science? Did you want to go to law school or something? Literally, no. I picked political science freshman year because it was something that I was really interested in. Like, I liked politics at the time. I hate it now. But I liked politics a lot. And my thought process was like, oh, like, I just want to do something that I enjoy. Because, like, literally 80% of people don't even work in their majors anyway. So, did you hear that, guys? So she just chose a major because most people don't use their majors anyway. That's modern women thinking right there. Just choose a major. It doesn't matter if you make money in it or not because odds are I'm going to get a job that's not even going to need it. Well, then what are you going to college for? This is insane. I also just realized that I used the wrong concealer and now I'm dry and flaky. Um, I'm going to use the Kosas one. It is really good if you're super dry like me. And I'm a strong advocate for like, you do not need to like pick a major that you have to work in. Like you just don't. But I This is getting worse and worse. You don't have to pick a major that you have to work in. She's just digging a deeper and deeper hole as she talks. At least pick something that you enjoy. And I am so just over political science. I really am. The past two years, I've literally only worked in marketing. I've been an influencer marketing, whatever. I've done digital marketing and I've been a social media marketing manager. I'm actually trying to um, just freelance social media marketing management. Oh my gosh, right now. So then what's she going to school for? Why? And guys, we should have figured that th this is what she was going to go into. All these women think that social media is going to save them from having to work a traditional nine to five and live a traditional life. And the sad part about it is a lot of these women, they're going to hit 30, 35, 40, and they're going to smash into that wall. <laughs> and then how's your social media career going to go then? But as I'm like hitting my literal last year of school, it's just kind of hitting me that I feel like I'm kind of wasting my time. Like this semester alone, I'm literally taking 15 credits of pure political science classes. Like that's it. And I know that I could change my major, but that would add a lot more schooling that I honestly just don't really want to do. Again, for dry skin, I literally just got a sample of it to try it out, but the Fenty powder is so good. Don't 
so sorry about this makeup crap, guys. I think she's probably put, what, two, three hundred dollars worth of stuff on her face so far. Get me wrong. I'm good at political science. Like, I'm good with the debating. I'm good with the research. I'm good with the, like, statistical testing. Like, I'm good with that stuff. And to say this in the most, like, straightforward way, I just, I'm not interested in it anymore at all. And to be Well, I wonder how much debt she's in. Because that is the question. You you cannot want to do it. You know, you, you cannot get an important major, but 70% of the student loan debt is women, guys. How much debt is she going to have for, for making this dumb mistake? To be honest, politics is really easy to kind of just like keep up with without having to major in it. I don't want to be a politician. I don't want to be a lawyer. I don't want to date analysis. I don't want to do statistical testing. I literally do not want to work in government or anything related to politics at all. And it's just interesting because the past couple of months, all I've been doing is researching, reading books about hormone, like harmonizing, balancing, like feeling your best health, skincare, makeup, wellness. But honestly, as I'm going to this new stage of life, graduating, getting married, and fixing my health. With all this being said, I thought I should kind of stop complaining about how I regret my major, make the best out of it, and find what really makes me tick outside of political science, you know? Well... That's one of the biggest problems with these social media influencers. Her whole life is content. So everything she has to, to complain about, because I guarantee you, when she graduates, we're going to see a video about what, guys? Her complaining about her student loans. It's coming. All these women. I feel like I waste my time on a major. But I, I hate the fact that I'm $120,000 in student loan debt. So Sleepy Joe... Forgive my student loans. You, you guys know it's coming. Learning about how corporate companies and social media marketers use social media and post is so weird when you're coming from an area where you learn social media in the very beginning stages when absolutely nobody knew what it was going to turn into. Let me explain. So I'm currently getting my master's in social and emerging media, which... Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> She's getting her master's in what? <laughs> getting my master's in social and emerging media which <laughs> you got jesus h christ ah why do they even have that as a major why hey guys i checked with this woman's linkedin she has a bachelor of fine arts in theater and she's getting this master's in social whatever the heck modern women which basically translates to social media marketing i have been an influencer on social media since i was 14 years old which was a lot of the reason why i decided to do this as my master's i felt like i had a pretty good understanding about how the internet works somewhat and also like when i started there was no book or outline of you should post this or post at this time or post this many seconds i barely knew how the app worked and it crashed every 30 seconds i was just posting to post and if they liked it great if they didn't like it i'd just make another video and hopefully they'd like that one so now i'm in school for this and they're throwing at me analytics and numbers and a lot of other stuff i just don't understand and somehow i still got an a in the first semester but i had no clue what was going on the entire time it's so once again how much money is she spending on this and she oh yes She's going to finish this degree, guys, and she's going to accrue all that debt. But she's literally saying that this is literally useless. All you have to do is just keep posting and something will, will hit. So learning about algorithms, all the stuff that she's taking classes for is a waste of time. But she's going there anyway. It's so crazy to me that corporate companies are like, you need to say these keywords and you need to focus on these things. When my first video that went viral was straight up just a video of my cat and people couldn't figure out if he was real or fake. Like there is no method to my madness. It just works when it works and it doesn't work when it doesn't work. And it's like a lottery system. Welcome to the internet. And so trying to figure out all these algorithms and number systems and keywords, honestly, it's like a bunch of hocus pocus to me. It's like some sort of magical spell that in my opinion, isn't going to help anything. So doesn't this make you want to go get a degree in social media, blah, 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 that, that she's talking about? Doesn't it, guys? And a lot of things that women major in and get degrees in, you don't need a degree for and you can figure it out yourself without getting in a whole bunch of debt. Another woman wasting probably $80,000, $90,000 for a two-year degree and some BS. And she's proudly saying it uh, on social media, guys. Proud to say that she made such an expensive mistake. 
This kind of making me regret my decision for the master's program because the more I do it, the more I realize that it was probably created by a bunch of older people that don't really understand the internet as much as they should. And I'm saying that nicely. I'm just saying there is no math problem you can enter into a computer to equal a viral video. It's just a shot in the dark. And if people like your video, people like your video. And if they don't, they don't. And in my opinion, corporate companies are trying too hard to go viral. And it would probably work out a lot better if they just let natural content be created by creative people. Instead of yeah, but that's never going to happen because if, it, if you're paying people to make videos they want to see results you, you can't just be throwing money at, at a salary for staff or research for different videos and editors and not be trying to make something happen maybe in her world that's how you would do it but in business it can't work that way trying to control keywords and algorithms and video links and hashtags and topics and all that other stuff why not just start with some creative people on a really good idea? And I bet you that would get them a whole lot farther. So, once again, she got this degree that she's not even going to learn anything from. More debt. This is modern women, guys. I'm to the point now where there's certain degrees that women get that you should stay away from. Because it just shows that they have a bad decision-making process. You already heard the seven that I told you before. But I guess I can ask social media marketing to it. <laughs> if you're not going to school for something medical, science, technology, engineering, math, law, there's no point, guys. No point. There are more ways to make six figures without a degree now, especially since we're in a 77% services economy. If I were a young man, and I was 21, I get a CDL, I drive truck for five years. I know guys who are making $200,000 a year driving truck. Do it when you're young, cash out, and maybe go to college later. I don't know. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one.